your comments are hilarious, first of all. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Is it on? If I get, if I get 17 <laughs> more followers, I'll go. No worries. That's 17 people who showed up. I would, I would lose 17 followers. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Balaji with Goddess Talk. And our special guest tonight is Mr. Pierce Brunson. What's up, Pierce? Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> What's up? How I'm, you doing? I'm doing great. I'm glad you so, came. Thanks. I was so excited when you actually like responded, definitely, and then actually signed up. Anytime somebody allows me to talk, <laughs> yeah, uh, talk. Free, freely, and uh, you, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be there to do it. I you know, my wife gets it. tired of hearing me. God bless your wife. I'm and it, I know <laughs> a lot of people say that. That's and I'm not. I'm not You're a bad crazy. dude, but they just kind of you know, figure. They they go. You're eccentric. They just, yeah. I wonder what your children are like. Uh, yeah, probably a lot of me. A little bit of her and but more a so lot you. of my parents. Yeah. Okay. Oh, That's boy. Like filters now. That Brunson is it's like right. an oil spill. Goes all over the place. All right, it's Mr. There. Pierce Brunson. Let us know um, just your history. You know, you're a St. Pete native or raised in St. Pete, correct? Yeah. Um, I actually moved to St. Pete when I was seven mm -hmm. from uh, Columbus, Georgia, but okay. we... We lived in uh, Macon, Georgia okay. for a long time. That's where our family's from. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, when I got to St. Pete, uh, we just, you know, kind of moved in and went to church at uh, First Baptist Institutional Church, FBIC. Oh, it's not and, like uh, FBI, first of all. No, FBIC. <laughs> FBIC. You always have to shout out your church when you're from St. Pete okay. uh, to let them know. Okay. Um, so, you know, when, once I got there, I went to um, Middle Middle School, Gibbs mm -hmm. High School, and... Uh, you know, left and went to college. So I am, I am St. Pete, mm -hmm. um, but you, through and through. But you went to school. You went to college in Temple. I just want to give Philly a shout out real quick. Yes, because I'm from South Jersey, and we, you know, we we in Philly all the time. But shout out to Temple University. What's Temple up? University T U M F is uh, what we say uh -huh. uh, when we actually know about Temple. So that's always a good hashtag for us. Hashtag. Anything <laughs> that works with Temple University. Okay, so you graduated college, came back home. Yes. And uh, just tell us how you progressed to being a business owner because you have basically two businesses. Um. Well, it's, it's kind of one. I do. Okay. I do photography. Okay. One hundred percent. Okay. Um, How'd you get into that? Uh. Well, I, I, I came back home and I, like everybody else out of college, I needed a job. So. <laughs> Come on. I did it. I was well when I when I wanted to go to college, mm -hmm. I literally wanted to be a farmer. Okay. And I wanted to be <laughs> okay. a photographer. Like that's literally what I wanted to be. Okay. But there was no checkbox for that type of stuff. You know, just regular it. farming. Mm -hmm. Um there was like agriculture engineering okay. and since it had engineering on it and uh my grades were eh, good enough to get in. <laughs> but, yeah, they ain't gonna let you on that side of the campus uh, type of deal. Uh -huh. So I, I just was like, you know, let me, let me just go on. And, okay. Um, and went, and then I went for uh, went to once I kind of figured out what what I thought I wanted to do was uh, was film, and I went to Temple University mm -hmm. for that. Uh, but when I came back home, I started teaching, okay. um, work with kids at a summer camp uh, for the city of St. Petersburg, and um, figured out I like kids, and so uh, I went back and. I uh, got my teaching certificate, and I ended up at uh, Northeast High School, okay. uh, thanks to one of my coaches. Mm -hmm. When I was substituting, that day he came in and said, all right, well, we're going to have to get you a job. Um, thank goodness for that. Uh, Costello hooked mm -hmm. me up. And then uh, from there, I actually uh, transferred after getting my master's degree at uh, Wilmington College, um, which is Wilmington University now. Okay. Um, in Delaware? <clears throat> yeah, in Delaware. Okay. Yep. Went back up north. I'm just saying. Yep. It was up stuff. north. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and... Uh, and then I, I um, started teaching at, at uh, Countryside High School. Okay. And I did, I think, nine years there, closed okay. it out. Uh -huh. And really what um, what moved me out of uh, teaching was just, uh, there was just some situations uh, in education that a lot of uh, teachers may tend to go through where they're willing to, uh, I would say, forgive and forget. Mm -hmm. um, and my soul isn't built that way. So like, uh, I, I figured it was better that I left mm -hmm. um, instead of trying to fight, um, the, system. fight the system um, because it was just wearing me out. Mm -hmm. And uh, personally, it was just, um, it was really, really working on me in the yeah. evening. So um, one of my students actually, when I, I taught a class called sociology, and we talked about the things you want to do. And mm -hmm. one, one kid popped off in the back and said, Hey, do you always want to be a teacher? And that's a, that was a legit question. Mm -hmm. I was mad he asked it, but <laughs> 
he put Sh- you out me there. Up. Yeah, he did. He did. And so I said, uh, no. And so then I started looking back into mm-hmm. photography. And um, luckily I had a friend who was, uh, I helped him with a Costa Rica trip. And he said, hey, you got to buy a good camera because uh, you're our, our photographer for yeah. the trip. And I was like, I haven't taken a picture in a long time. Yeah. But, you know, having good friends like that um, kind of pushed me into photography. And I took some good pictures and rented a huge, heavy lens to go down to Costa Rica. Took some great shots. Really didn't know what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Everything was on auto um but uh we still have some good pictures to this day and then i ended up uh, taking a chance on what i thought would work uh for school photography for kids which is um an all-inclusive event style photography okay and yeah. that's what uh, firefly is yes uh, firefly um is very different from what's out there it's mm-hmm. not photo boothy um which is just small and cropped yeah. and quick mm-hmm. um it it really is a, a high-end product um, but my goal with the high end product was I, I really liked all my students, uh, no matter good, bad, and different. Um, but um, so I created a, a product that doesn't leave any students out. Mm. And the way we do that is we um, we created a, a price structure where our cost gets rolled into the ticket price, okay? So that all the students can come in mm-hmm. and take pictures on a great backdrop or. Where the, when the sudden setting yeah. or something like that, and they can get those pictures that normally if you hired a regular photographer are going to cost you $125. Yeah, per student. Yeah, per student. Yeah. And so we ended up getting the cost down to about um, about $10 for homecoming, mm. about 15 uh, for prom. So the school takes on, really incurs the um, the debt, I'll say, for that, but they roll it into the ticket price. Like. Yeah, they roll it into the ticket price. Okay. So it's kind of like catering okay. is what I try to explain. Okay. It's like, you know, like you don't really go, well, give me a dollar for a meatball, yeah. you know, and so on and so forth. But so that's that's with us. And okay. it started where we were just doing one picture mm-hmm. per kid. And what I found was that um, we were wasting time taking tickets instead of taking pictures. Okay. And so I just wanted a bunch of pictures. Yeah. And, and, um, and then you had some kids that wanted some pictures and they had a ticket. And then you had some kids who used somebody else's ticket. Yeah. And I didn't care at that yeah. point in time. But um, but now everybody. It's unlimited now. Okay. We don't we don't take any tickets. The kids just show up and we have people there to encourage them and, okay. and get in there. And we ended up, we averaged about 1,100 images per homecoming prom. Okay. Um, and this is open year. to all schools within St. Petersburg, I'm guessing. Yeah. St. Pe- we're actually registered in um, Pinellas County. Okay. Um, we're also registered in Hillsborough County. Okay. We're also working in Osceola County now. Okay. So is it um, just um, schools? Um, are there private schools, you public schools? What's the entities you work with? Anybody? Well, I, I, I will work with anybody okay. who uh, who has who's willing to cut that check. Yeah, um, cut that check. But, uh, <laughs> but really, I, I focused on public schools mm-hmm. because, you know, to me, public schools should be providing uh, products that help all students. Okay. And, um, you know, and, and really that was my fight in the beginning, but learning a lot more about business and realizing that, you know, we should really be shooting for any entity that wants to deliver this for students because okay. uh, we work with you know, a couple schools in um, Pinellas, a couple schools in Hillsboro, um, a school in Osceola. We've been all the way over to Orlando okay. um, working with schools there. So it's, uh, you know, it's it's pretty cool. Is it just event pictures? What about regular graduation pictures? Those are offered also? Well, we just moved into graduation. Okay. So the graduation product is pretty unique. So mm-hmm. what we did was the same. It was the same structure mm-hmm. where we looked at what the kids currently have with the companies that they have. So if you get a graduation product that's a digital download, it's at least going to cost the kids a hundred bucks between 70 and a hundred bucks. Um, 70 is, I think is like one picture somewhere in there. Um, and so what we said was just to do the math on that, we took the whole package Mm -hmm. and we said, you know, digitally we can get it down to 35. Mm -hmm. And so our graduation product is $35 per student. And what we encourage the schools to do when they work with us is to roll our cost into the ticket price so the parents get, roll our cost not into the ticket price, but into their graduation fees. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of schools have graduation fees. Um, And they pay for like the flower Mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. And and take that $35 and put it into that graduation fee. And then your kids get all, get a $140 product. So if they wait and use another company at the end of the year, 
it's going to cost people $140. Yeah, because yeah. I still haven't gotten my graduation picture from high school. No, no. <laughs> I've never got the whole, I don't think any of us got our graduation pictures. We had such a bad experience. With right. It's, it's either that or you, um, hate it. you, you post online now and I'll see this. The, the where copy. People, yeah, the copy where it says do not copy. Yes. And people are just like, whatever, come and get me because yeah. it's $140. Um, and, and my brother just graduated, and that was oh. yeah. And it doesn't even matter. Like it's high school, college yeah. people will be like, whatever. I study criminology. Don't copy. Like it's like, <laughs> come on now. All but right. uh, but yeah. So so that's really our focus right there, and really that helps uh, socioeconomically. So okay. what I really started pitching was that Firefly is a, a premium socioeconomically uh, aware product. Okay. Um, and, and that's what we try to do. Our focus is to not leave a single kid out that crosses that stage. Mm that earns that moment mm-hmm. because that is so important. And, and in my opinion, you don't really have to charge $140 for it. You do have to charge $140 if you're, um, if you're not creating a service that mm-hmm. can provide yeah. um, this for all students as fast as possible. And we actually deliver our images within five hours okay. from a graduation. That's so, one of the big things too. We okay. deliver on speed, okay. um, accuracy and speed and uh, everything we deliver. Like if we do a homecoming, it ends at midnight by eight in the morning. Those pictures are ready for those kids to start downloading. So they and there's no more weeks with these kids. First of all, this is the social media era. So as Insane. soon we're instantaneous. Like, yes. I want to see the picture right now, right yep. now, right now. Gotta but now it. you're going to have at least just five hour window where you go in and you quickly edit, do whatever you need to do. Correct? Yes. Well, I, I hope I thought at first that they would be partying. But mm-hmm. when I'm uploading, I kind of have my stats up to yeah. the left and it'll go from like one two, and yeah. then as soon Everybody's as the pictures start coming up, it jumps <laughs> to like 30, 35. Yeah. And I'm like, Man, you guys don't even party anymore. No way. No, but, uh, we're waiting for that picture. Or they're either at the party. Show the, yeah. show the moment. And so, uh, you know, it's 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 been a great response mm-hmm. um, with the schools that we've been we've we've been working with. Okay. Um, and we, you know, we have great contracts and we have great um, connections at these schools when it comes to those events. Okay. Um, and and the, and the kids love it. Like it just it's just one of those things that's really positive because again, you don't have to come back to me and I'm not gouging you yeah. for for any money. Okay. You know, later on and. Uh, that's kind of the key. So that's Firefly Event Photography. Yes. And you can find them on social media and just the website is Firefly Event yes. Photography yes. as well? Yes, yep. Okay. So that's the business side. We want to yep. get to the regular stuff that we always do. We, we chatted about that one time we met. I've only what? met you one time. I know, I know, in person, like it was, <laughs> it was such a fabulous meeting. It was I like, think yo, she was we like, spent like a his... good amount of time just talking about everything, and I was yes. like, yo, this is the dude. Right. Um. So we're gonna take a break in a second, but in the meantime, is there any other um features of Firefly that anybody needs to know about? Like, can they reach you? They can call you at seven two seven five nine nine six one five three. And again, the website is FirefliEventPhotography.com. You can find them on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Yes, we're we're all we're out. all over the place. Uh-huh. Um, the big thing about our company is is if you are with a school, um, you know, we just like to actually come out and meet people. If the mm-hmm. product works for you, then it then it works. And you'll tell somebody else, uh, right? And if it doesn't, then it doesn't. But but really, the reality is these kids today. They really want something that's all encompassing. Yeah. You know, it's like when people go on a vacation, they'd rather spend over money on the so that everything is covered mm-hmm. than to miss out on anything. Yeah. These kids just, if you're not doing stuff like this, like Firefly or something to that effect, then you're deciding to have your, your students miss out. And I just think in this world today, that's not how the world works. But then but. also you're missing out on moving with the wave of the future because yes. you're going to get stuck in that rut of, you know, just that's how the old photographers did it. You know, I don't feel like that's the way anybody should do it anymore now. Well, I don't, but uh-huh. a lot of schools do. Yeah. So, um, well, yeah, you know, you know I mean, sometimes people are just kind of kind of stuck in their ways, which is fine. Uh-huh. Um, but, you know, there is something better for kids, and that's really what we try to do, and we try to listen to them. Okay, cool. Yep. So um, we're going to take our first break. You can call us. Um, this is In Touch News. Got us talk, 813-444-9588. Um, again, call in um, if you have any questions. We haven't really started talking about some other stuff, but go ahead and call us. This is Got Us Talk. Talk to you soon. All right. So we're going to start.
Hi, I'm Donald L. Dowridge Jr., your motivational guru. This is the DLD Motivational Moment. You got up this morning. You got up this morning. Eyes sneaking open as the feet hit the floor. Got to thank God for the rise this day. The stove perking the smell of nutrition. Get to your destination with planned unselfish acts. Bulletin board read, do you have any to spare? Happiness and understanding. We all have experienced that one phone call. Family member, co-worker, friend has passed on. We don't know our last evening or morning. Get up. Help someone out. Now walk it out. You got up this morning. This has been the DLD Motivational Moment. You can reach out to DLD at DLD28002 at yahoo.com or 813-394-5875. My name is Gil Sampson. I didn't come from a very rich family, and so paying for college would have been very tough. I don't know if I would have been able to go to the college that I went to, and then I don't know if I would have gotten into the career that I am in. So I think Bright Futures has done a lot to shape my life. I got a job as a structural engineer, and I design residential buildings, commercial buildings all over the United States. Because of Bright Futures, I was able to go to college. You know, so many kids just don't even ever get that opportunity. And to be able to do it and not have any debt when I graduated is amazing. And it was all thanks to Bright Futures. Florida has created more than 1 million jobs in only five years, and a great education connects our students to these exciting opportunities. That's why the Florida Lottery has funded Bright Futures scholarships to help over 725,000 students attend college. Because every play is for education. The Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. This is Goddess Talk with Balaji, and our special guest is Piers Brunson. Hello, we're back. (laughs) Firefly event photography. So the last part, you guys got a whole spiel about what Firefly is. But the reason I really wanted Pierce up here is because me and Pierce, the one time we met, we just started talking about a whole bunch of stuff about us as a people and how we can really just kind of move things forward. And um, from my, just for that conversation, one thing that you really dropped on me that I really thought about was the education system. And that's been something that I have seen even on Facebook that you kind of do drop a little bit about because um, how can we really progress if we aren't really putting in to these kids what they really need to know? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just whatever topic. It's like, no, how are they going to survive as adults once they leave this this place? Um, I don't have an answer to that. Okay, I, you know I, I, feel, I feel actually I'm, I'm old. I'm 46. And, you know, and, and again, when I was young, mm-hmm in my twenties and sitting on my friend's couch mm-hmm. and all this other stuff. And we were just, we were just in there dreaming, mm-hmm. you know, and, um, and, and here we are, Yeah, you know, uh, a lot of my friends are, are, are successful in their own right. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and so, you know, I think you have to keep the dream going for what you want to do, mm-hmm. but I also think that we should be guiding, um, young people, and not really trying to demand that they do anything because I think that's unfair. Let them mm. live their life, but be there, you know, for guidance. Yeah. You know, um, my dad kind of let me, you know, live my life. My parents did, but then trust me, I came running back home to say, "Oh man, I got to, I got to talk to you." Yeah, I, I, I do need that <laughs> wisdom now. You know, so yeah. my dad, my mom, like you, when you saw me, I walked in. I was on the phone. With my dad, yeah. like you know, it's like, "Daddy, I need this. Daddy, I need that." Like, yeah. but it's just it's a family thing. It's a family uh, business that we run. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we need that guidance because when I wanted to start my company, I was just like, "Okay, how do I go about this?" And my dad is like, "Okay, so." This is probably the first thing you might want to do. Get that federal ID number. <laughs> you know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, see, your, your, your dad knew about business. He, uh, not my dad. My dad, uh, he wasn't in business, but he worked, you know, he worked at Sears. He had, yeah. he had good jobs. Yeah. And, and, uh, and my dad got us everything, like, mm-hmm. always. He yeah. always took care of us. Yeah. Um, and, um, but when it came to business, it was like, and bro, there's nothing I wrong know, with man, that, though, because what own. guidance did he give you that you feel that you've really implemented into your businesses now? Um, I, I really, you know, my parents are just good people Yeah. and really, I just try to be good to people. 
that, that's pretty much it. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. And that's great. Like, yeah, but sometimes in business, like yeah, they run over. Y- y- yeah, you know. And I try now to not get so much ran over, mm-hmm. especially when it comes to you know people say, oh, I don't have this, and that, and mm-hmm. the other, and I have to really rely on business. That's why I push on contracts yeah. and say we have to stick into this, um, because my my parents are so giving. Yeah, you know, and and uh, you know sometimes you just have to go. Wait a minute. I got I got to pull back and I got to run a business like it's a business, not yeah. not like it's a, it's a charity. It every, yeah, and yeah. that's the thing cuz I was talking about just the whole employee side of business. Um before well during the break we we're talking about how basically people have glorified and sensationalized this whole being an entrepreneur that most people don't really know what it really takes to be a business owner. Y- yeah, um I have a couple of friends that run a business and they they have a team. Mhm. And each one of them is good at something mm-hmm. different. And so they build this empire. Mm-hmm. Um, what I usually see is people collaborate and they're doing the same thing. Yeah. So, oh, a bunch of photographers get together and do what? Yeah. You only need one person to push the button. And you really don't need a professional to do that. You just kind of need <laughs> somebody to set it up and get the lighting okay. right and then and then go from there. But um, But, you know, to me... I think the thing that's missing in, in some of the aspects of what I've come across mm-hmm. is that young people want to be entrepreneurs and yeah. they don't want to work. Mm-hmm. Like I worked, you know, I worked for the school system. I, I had ups and downs in the school system um, before I cashed in whatever. It's not really 401k. Yeah. It's something else that I was just throwing money mm-hmm. into and I cashed that out and, and I, and I went for it, mm-hmm. but I had worked, I had coached, yeah. I had done a bunch of things. I had already led people. I I'd led kids who had no skill in mm-hmm. a sport to a district championship. Mm-hmm. So I, I had kind of receipts of success mm-hmm. and I did that on my own just yeah. by myself. I also, I also was an assistant coach for a long time mm-hmm. with my friend who, who had a lot of success. Um, and I didn't mind being an assistant coach. I knew I could coach my own team, mm-hmm. but you know, to give you an example of, of working and change, that I learned was, you know, you got to take, you, you, you have to take direction from somebody and you, you got to allow for the hierarchy to exist. So give you an example. One day, my, um, my friend, he told me the day before that I was running the offense. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I went home all night and did all the offense stuff and I come in and the next day he goes, I changed it. Yeah. You're running the defense mm-hmm. now. And I just looked at him. I said, but you told me you're running the offense. And he just looked back at me like, well, I changed it and I literally accepted it because, you know, that's the hierarchy. And now I could have complained and said, mm-hmm. well, I'm driving all the way here to help you yeah. and da, 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 and so on and so forth. But, you know, it's a bigger picture. And once you understand the bigger picture of what's going on, then I think you become a better worker. It and then you get effort. to, you know, you get to evolve. Mm. And everybody wants to be like these these millionaires and they want to be Diddy, which is what I call it. They just want to be. You know the cigars on the and, and yes, out. They and want I, the glorification. They yeah. want the. They yeah. want. The, I cannot afford to burn no. anything. I didn't like. I don't want fame. That's not it. My thing is the message of what. Well, we're I, I, to do. I like fame. I don't. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I think I'd be a pretty cool famous you want person. The money, though. Right. You right. Want, you want but the, I. But I just don't want the look. Like I'm mm-hmm. just you know chilling in St. Pete and, and faking the funk. What? Like no. Okay. I, don't, I don't want that. But the thing is, going back to what you said, nobody wants to work. Everybody, I feel like, because I play ball, right? Everybody yeah. wants to be the point guard because for them yeah. in their minds or the, you know, the three-point shooter, they yeah. want that glorification of just being the shooter right. versus you forgot that somebody got to play defense. Right. I was a defensive player. Right. I was grabbing boards. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I was running the floor. Yeah. It was, if it's the whole situation, it's a fast break. I'm outlet, outlet. I'm running, right. you know, and I'm on the go. And but those were very key parts of the whole game. Yes. You know, you needed the two guard to do what they needed to do. You needed the the center to do what they needed to do. Right. You needed everybody, but everybody wants to be the one star player and you can still be a star in your own right in a different way. Yeah. I, you know, I think business is so difficult. And if we're talking about, you know, just focusing on, on the African-American mm-hmm. community and being very um, new to business, mm. You know, we got to look at it as like pioneers. Yeah. You know, we can't look at it as we just showed up to this space Mm -hmm. and the land is all cleared Mm -hmm. and everything. No, we got to clear the land. Mm -hmm. We can't just build a castle. Well, you're having a whole farming situation. Yeah, no. Flashback here. Um, (laughs) It's it's building a society. But, you know, and that's kind of what I see is everybody wants to have that ivory tower Mm -hmm. so fast, you know, and I I always do projections on our business and always, you know, kind of tell my wife and say, you know, 
we're about five years away. Mm-hmm. We're very fragile yeah. right now. So at any moment, you know, it could be, it could be lights out for us. And that's something that I've been really trying to express because as a business owner, yeah, I'm coming up on seven years, yeah. but I still have the anxieties every single day, if not every single year right. that I did the first year where it's like, we're going to make it. Okay. We made it through this year. Okay. What else is there? Okay. We got a couple of new clients. Okay. Next thing, you know, right. like it's always ongoing. Yeah. I, you know, I had my last anxiety moment when I had texted you about, a, a situation and I really just kind of looked in the mirror and said just you know what stop yeah. if it if it ends it ends um you've you've done what you're supposed to mm-hmm. do which is create you know a great product for kids if it ends then it ends yeah you'll find something else it's the same reason I left teaching I said you know I can do bad on my own I'll find something else I have a master's degree I mean <laughs> come on like because we always want to help especially our people yeah but sometimes our people don't want us to help them or mm-hmm. it's just I think it, that's people though. I don't I don't people. think you yeah. Like I, and, and again, I don't think I think when people create something, mm-hmm. they assume that that their help is the help. Oh no. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, you know, the like end all be all. Right. No. Now my business is the end all be all when it comes to school photography because it, it's it's a pretty unique system. It is. But that doesn't mean that everybody's gonna buy it. And and even, you know, some of the schools that we talk to a lot and really would benefit if they jumped, mm-hmm. you know, I still kind of have a, you know, frustration of that. But then I just take a step back and go, wait a minute, business is business. And, you know, you have to make sure that you're just there. Yeah. And if you can survive 20 years mm-hmm. or so, yeah. then you get to be this bigger company. Yeah. Um, but if you can't survive the pioneer years, the early years, which could be, you know, 10, 12 years easily it takes time yeah everybody and, and people thinks don't your pioneer that. year is just the one first yeah, year the first year, the second you get, year. like, like ooh, got no, these business cards no like, no like wait the what pioneer years is okay now the taxes yeah you know the pioneer yeah. years is okay accounting <laughs> right because everybody forgets that you can't do this all on your own no you will be doing it on your own for a long time though if you yeah. cannot afford to hire people and you but won't grow there's but no way. There's not enough. There's not enough hours in the day. Get to that business mindset. It's like I can't do this all myself. I have to have certain people in certain positions to do it. Yes. Now you got you. That's when you become really not a boss, but a leader. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to have other people in key parts do the job for you too. Yeah. Well, I you know in my, in my company when it comes to employees, I have I have really good people. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vic's been with me since I think month six mm-hmm. you know of of our idea mm-hmm. uh kieran's been with us like three years and we just picked up uh amber last season mm-hmm. um and she's done a great job and she's a young business person too um does video um shout out to a1 lens and um but uh you know she she's learning a lot mm-hmm. too and I, and I think she's really starting to understand like that as an employee yeah. like like i'm in a pretty good position to 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 understand more about business and level up whereas You're supposed when to be i learning. when i've offered mm-hmm. people who they're not willing to, like photographers i run into them say hey why don't you come work for me mm. like come on come work for me work for me about two mm-hmm. years and then you kind of understand and and they may not jump but then they're afraid to buy a 400 hundred dollar mm-hmm. camera let me explain to you my business i don't have a 400 hundred dollar camera they're all they cost more than $400. Mm-hmm. Like the, the least expensive body we have, which we have six of them is, is $1,200, mm-hmm. you know? So that $400 body, it's not going to work in an yeah. environment where, you know, you're expected to do big things yeah. and you want, you want big checks. It's yeah. just not going to work. So those things don't, it doesn't work like that. So, yeah. so employees, the employees are important, but if you're trying to like level up, you got to go work for somebody. You got to, I don't even know if it's humbling yourself. I'm not, I'm not saying it's I'm the not. most humble person, but just go in and do what people ask you to do. And I've always been good at that. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that, that I'm not even humble. Everybody mm-hmm. knows it. Everybody that's listening <laughs> that knows me. You know, they, they just know I have an edge, but yeah. I will work. Yeah, I will. I'll go in there and I'll do what I'm supposed to do because, you know, I walk through the doors that morning okay if i don't like if i don't like what i'm doing i'm not walking through those doors and i have no problem telling you i'm not staying at home like like what you have explained is what the key to apprenticeship (laughs) is yes because you're supposed to be an understudy to somebody yes you know you're supposed to do that internship and not i've just um i've been reading carter g woodson um uh which one message to a uh, message to a negro okay was it yeah I believe. Oh, gosh, I just blanked on it. But he goes in detail, and I wanted to post it, but it was just like, you have to work 
at it. You have to really feel the pain of it and not feel like you are so deserving of that pillar, that, that uh, like you said, the um, ivory tower. You have to be at the bottom. You have to be in the muck. You know, well, but we'll be right back. Okay, we got it. So, uh, 813 444 9588. That break came out real quick. You got it? Got people paying. We'll be back. Shut him up. (laughs) I love it. Yeah, we can go back to that. Yeah, Yeah, I think think that's a, you know, that's a, a big thing. Jr., your motivational guru. This is the DLD Motivational Moment. One darn second. America since 2017 is suffering from a serious hiccup. 9-11 is seriously overused in a distasteful manner. Every day the cops are calling on an innocent, innocent person of color. It amazes me that America has come down to this. A person of color becomes a person of interest. Waffle House, the dorm, Starbucks is a few. This is not the lunch counters, sit-ins of the 1960s. 2019, harassed simply for being black and proud. Hold on one darn second. This has been the DLD Motivational Moment. Pre-order my new book, Motivational Moments, at DLD28-2002 at yahoo.com or 813-394-5875. This is Dr. Veronica Walters, also known as Dr. V, the head of school at the Walters Academy for Entrepreneurship, a place that we like to call The Way, where we're educating today's youthpreneurs to be tomorrow's billionaires through social entrepreneurship. Do you have a student who's bored, frustrated, gifted, inquisitive, creative, business-minded? Then maybe you need to check The Way out. Listen, we have an educational platform that allows for individualized instruction. It's strength-based project-based, and designed to help your students become the absolute best they can while starting their own business and being an entrepreneur. If you're looking for something different and you need to find a more excellent way, then you need to visit us at The Way. That's The Way, www.thewaetampa.org. Or you can call us at 813-603-7923. We look forward to showing your student a more excellent way at The Way. Which we one are back. Did you oh. <laughs> we are back. Goddess Talk with Balaji and our special guest, Mr. Pierce Brunson. All right. Of Firefly Event Photography. You can find Firefly on all social media platforms, basically, but you can call him. He is based in St. Petersburg, Florida, but he is uh, willing to come to you if you cut that check. Yeah, we'll come to your school, definitely. <laughs> uh, and we're moving into sports and stuff like that, hey, too. Action, uh, yeah. action. I saw that. I saw a couple of your Yeah, sports action. actions. And, and uh, we do a lot of sports action. Mm-hmm. We do. I, I love flag football. That's actually what I coached. Um, so I actually go out to those games okay. for free and take action shots for, for the free. girls. I just want to mention that. Part yeah, I free. do. I, that <laughs> I is the- that is the limit on my charity. I don't I don't do anything else. I must that, get that's it pretty much free. it. All right. So before we left, um, we're talking about just being an apprentice. And um, the book that I was really um, wanted to mention, let me correct myself, is the Mis- Miseducation of the Negro by Carter G. Woodson. All right. And um, that book was so profound because it talked about so many different things. But what you said took me back to a part where, you know, people are unwilling to work um, and really go through the gutter. They just feel like they're deserving of that. But you mentioned something on break. We've been conditioned to think that we deserve this immediately coming out of school. Yeah. I, you know, well, I, I sure. Let me let me clarify. But, you know, my dad made us go to which, I which was, is okay. I was forced. Which, right, right, right. Like by, you're going, the, the, even though I had all these Nigeria, other okay? ideas. There's like, a by first. Yeah. Like I had a bunch of ideas. Like, nah, dad, I want to go build computers. No, you go, go to college. college first. And that's fine. Yeah. But then, of course, we were conditioned when we got out and, and the world definitely shifted mm-hmm. on us. So, um, but now, like, I, I believe that there's enough information, real information and access for um, younger people to, to, go and apprentice with somebody, especially if somebody approaches you. Mm-hmm. Like, let's go back to to um, Amber that I hired. Mm-hmm. I had had such bad luck with other photographers that I literally watched her photography and her page on Facebook for about six months mm-hmm. before I, I approached her uh, to join. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and that was 
the first time I had really you know, gone after somebody like that because I saw that she was working mm-hmm. towards something. And so when somebody in, in a business comes to you and they see even a small spark in you, um, you know, take that as, as a notion of, of maybe this person can help me mm-hmm. as opposed to trying to find a stranger to, yeah. to help you. you know, I, I do approach photographers all the time and say, hey, we, we have this opportunity, like I said before, um, and, you know, they want $50 an hour. And I'm like, uh, say what? <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's not going to happen. And it's, it's, it's a struggle. Mm-hmm. So then I'll say, okay, well, when you can go out and make $50 an mm-hmm. hour with your, you know, $400 kit camera from, yeah. you know, from the Walmart. store around the corner, mm-hmm. Walmart, Target, wherever, um, Best Buy, then, okay. You know, then, then if, and, and if you can do that, then you don't need me. Yeah. But you know, what I've done is now I didn't have an apprentice. Yeah. So, so let me, yeah. let me let everybody know. Yeah. Um, I had kids mm-hmm. <laughs> and a wife and a lot of motivation and yeah. I, and I had to switch, but I had experienced enough photography, um, when I was younger and I, and I also have a film degree. So I didn't, you know, really need a lot of help, help. Okay. The, you know, it, the transition was, was essentially simpler. Did you balance photography and your regular job or are you just like, all right, I'm done with this. I'm going to do this. No, when we, when I started out, I was still doing uh, some small things. Okay. Um, and you know, and, and when you're starting out, you get a lot of, you get a lot of charity. Yeah. Like people be like, okay, right. yeah, I can throw you 50, yeah. you know, and thank goodness there you was some it. charity because I really learned from yeah. a lot of things. Cause then you start like taking a bunch of pictures yeah. so that you hopefully get like 15, right you can send them, yeah. you know, so on and so forth. Cause a lot of people um, don't realize that you don't, you're not going to be, there's no overnight success all no. the time for mm. a lot of people. No. It takes the charity sometimes, or yeah. it takes a lot of failure. It takes years before you can finally got that 15 good pictures to yeah. send the person. They can yeah. show it to everybody else. Like book him. Yeah. You now, know? now, I yeah. shoot 15 out of 16. Like I'm okay. getting 15 within 16. Okay. Click, 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 done. I'm out. Where's my check? You know, <laughs> no, I'm just, I do get that. Like when, yeah. whenever I'm doing an event, I'll, uh-huh. I'll take pictures and I'll be like, no, I, I got yeah. it. And people just kind of look at me. And then when they actually see like, right. And then yeah. at the end I'll deliver, mm-hmm. you know, 115 great pics. They're like, I didn't even really see you taking pictures. You're kind of holding the camera. Well, you know, because I'm a professional yeah. and I understand That's like how to get things done. So, yeah. I think that's what people can learn from other people. And I understand you got to make money, but when you're young, you know, and, and everything you can, you can, you can starve a little yeah. bit, you know, like we all did, like just cause we went to college doesn't mean that, you know, we wasn't living on a pizza for a week, Ramen you know, those noodles, type of things. Yeah. Like uh, my thing was animal crackers. Right. Do you remember the animal crackers and the big like teddy bear container? That was me. Yeah. Okay, mine was, was mine was uh, stealing food from the cafeteria in my Tupperware and oh, my putting friend. it in my rusty get, backpack. Get a couple swipes. <laughs> yeah. You know, something yeah. like that. Mine, well, you know, a couple of times I just go downstairs and smell the food and be like, all right, woo, that was a good meal. That type of thing. Didn't have a whole lot. Yeah, drink water. You know, yeah, but you, you know, you got <laughs> <All> you, <laughs> right. You, <laughs> you, you do a lot of those things. You and, know? and, and now I'm not saying that kids, the kids don't go through those yeah. things, but I, I just, I just think that from, and this is from the people I've come in contact with is, is, if you think that this is just going to happen, it's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. I've been in the game a long time. and we're, we're, We reach new levels every yeah. every year, but it also gets to the point where I meet people who are are way above mm-hmm. my, my level, too, which is what I did this summer. Mm-hmm. This summer, I've learned a lot. I was part of the catch program. I'm still part of the catch program. Um, and I also went to Pittsburgh to to go to the um, sink, sink sports. Mm-hmm. And uh, even though my idea, my flow was great, a lot of people really, really liked mm-hmm. it. I was just in awe of mm-hmm. the the work that they were delivering to people. And then you start talking to people, and they're like, you know, I'm like, yeah, you know, we got we got a few schools, and they're like, yeah, we have 32 middle schools, mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. And they're just regular folk. Yeah. So, um, so that you know, kind of helped me to understand that there's always a level up. Mm-hmm. And and the biggest thing is these weren't like really large companies. Yeah. These were like mom and pop type of situations. And that's the thing. Everybody yeah. wants, everybody feels like they're on the conglomerate level. Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. no. We are pop. not the corporations yet. We're still yeah. very mom and pop. Yeah. And so there's that misconception that you can pay corporation benefits, yeah. dollars no. and everything. And it's like, uh, I'm still, I still don't technically under, uh, the administration or federal rules have to even give you benefits yet. Cause right. I don't qualify for it yet. Right. So people don't know that. They think, okay, you own a business and you're going to be able to do X, Y, Z. No, no, that no. that really doesn't exist. So, okay. 
So once I went to the went to the program, mm-hmm. the cool part about the program was these people had so much, mm-hmm. but they were willing to share any question you asked, and they were willing to listen, and so on and so forth. And they really encouraged me uh, about how I was doing mm-hmm. photography, the, the all inclusive yeah. to keep going with that. Yeah. Like that was a, a big thing there. But I also realized that you know the reason they really didn't it didn't bother them was because. Um, you know, good luck catching them mm-hmm. when when they have, you know, uh, 4,000 square foot, yeah. you know, uh, place to take pictures and bring yeah. all the sports kids to. Excuse me. Um, good luck catching yeah. that if you're just doing photography out yeah. of your bedroom. That's like you, they can tell you every single thing yeah. unless you're going to invest that type of money. So so for us, it was about looking at and we always invest mm-hmm. our, our money. But then we came back home and, and we leveled up. Yeah. So. Our biggest thing that we leveled up on was buying a twenty foot wide. Mm. Um, I saw you post that. Yeah, which which that's backdrop. huge. Yeah, so that it's a called? white yeah. white backdrop. Mm-hmm. Nothing special about yeah. it. Uh, twenty foot wide mm-hmm. backdrop to really expand our sports mm-hmm. and expand our prom. Mm. These these are going to be our high end proms, of course. But you want to be in the game. You want to now try to catch me? Yeah. Then go yeah. go drop five hundred dollars on a white back. That's mm-hmm. really what we did. Mm-hmm. And that's not really bragging, yeah. but. But our thing is the white backdrop that we had, ten foot wide. Um, it was hard to spin that because that was that was one hundred and ten dollars when you first and, started. Yeah. Right, and then this month I just was like, well, we are gonna go ahead and get this one. Like it was nothing. So, so you, you got to get to those levels. Investing in your business to move forward, right? Yeah, so, to to possibly to play the game. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's get just getting the game. That's yeah. just a charge. And just understand that there are, there's no hundred percent way of always winning you know what i'm saying like right. you can literally try to get in the game and it doesn't work but don't take it on the chin and like i failed no you tried you have to continue to try to stay in the game even yeah. as business owners we're still like you did you went to the convention you learned certain tips you're looking at some people okay let me try to tweak this a little bit in your business yeah. and it's working i'm guessing yeah, yeah yeah it is well we'll see that's a, again too why and when you're young in business you don't you don't charge correctly yeah so you can't get on a plane to pittsburgh uh-huh. you can't pay all those fees yeah. you can't eat you can't stay in a hotel room and all these things it was first time in the hotel room and i'm kind of i'm kind of stuck up so i'm not sharing a room with anybody <laughs> no. i'm getting a double but it's everybody just me so i days. had to pay that whole thing by myself <laughs> And and that's a good thing, yeah. but I had the money because I, mm-hmm. I charged mm-hmm. and and I charged the value yeah. was there so that people would pay it. Okay, you got to level up. I see so many young people; they're going to all these uh, master classes. You know, there are some great master classes out there. Okay. Um, a friend of mine is holding one, and mm. she's no, she's helping people really get government contracts for businesses. Okay, because a lot of people don't know about that. Right. So shout out to um, Gavlia. Uh, that's uh, Shakia Kegler. She, I'm going to give her that shout out real quick. But if you do use uh, Afroganics19, that's the code for the master class, you will get $100 off her master class. So check out govlia.com. Real plug. Um, now, though, a lot of people are dropping. Did we go off? Oh, okay. no, we still got two minutes. Okay. <laughs> um, right. But a lot of people are going and traveling to all these master classes and events and stuff, and yes. they don't have the resources to do so. But it's chasing that, I want the photo op, I want this so that people can see what I'm doing, and it's not always there. Some of those classes are just, I, I think those some, of, some people position themselves mm-hmm. just before the church. Mm. Whereas, you know, we used to go to church for encouragement, and everything, mm-hmm. everything, you know, so on and mm-hmm. so forth. Now, if I just remove the Jesus part mm-hmm. and position myself right here and, and, and hype people up like churches, then people will come to my Your situation. seminar, yeah. my, my All those mind, things. mindset, or yeah. my something, class. some sort of million dollar da 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 da. Yeah. And yet, you know, you're not giving them anything. You're, you're hyping them up. You aren't yeah. giving them something, but you're giving them. You know, hope and, you know, hope is not a strategy. A friend of mine just really talked about how hope literally has really just hurt a lot of people. Yes. Because they just, and that's what they found in church and nothing happened after that for them, for most people. But we're about to take this break. Oh, <laughs> I'll leave right. on that that's one. Um, if you want to call in, 813-444-9588. This is Goddess Talk on In Touch News. We'll be right back. Sell them hope. This is 
Katrina Johnson with Caldwell Banker Real Estate, the real estate agent you've been looking for. If you want top dollar for your home or you're looking to make a purchase, call me at 813-244-6953. Again, 813-244-6953 and let me list your home. This is Linda Archie with Tyre Temple United Methodist Church. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month at the Village Market East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. Free parking, free admission, fresh produce, live entertainment, vendor shopping, and delicious cooked food. Join us every first and third Saturday of the month, beginning June 22nd. For vendor information, call me, 1-888-991-2502. See our ad in In Touch News or Florida Sentinel. Please call me at 1-888-991-2502. The Village Market at East Tampa, 3206 North Sanchez Street. We are back, Goddess Talk, with Balaji and our guest, Pierce Brenton. So yes. this last section, I really want to get into uh, just Tampa St. Pete. Um, you are involved in several different groups and organizations that are for business owners, but also for the community to advance us, correct? Yes. I believe this one uh, company, well, I won't say company, but you tell me what you've been doing. I believe I do get their email blast, but I haven't mm -hmm. had a chance to come to a meeting yet. Um, the first thing I'm part of is the CATCH program. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and what it really does is, is help uh, black business owners um, to walk through the steps of understanding finance, mm -hmm. understanding this, the level up of finance, especially business credit. Mm -hmm. And then after those particular things, we move into the lesser important but still important parts of like social media. Mm -hmm. That was really about um, the, the biggest thing about that was was um, learning the business uh, credit side of everything, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, which I, I love catch. Mm -hmm. Like it's an amazing program. I've been a part of a lot of programs, mm -hmm. like trying to learn some sort of business and going back to it. Some of them were just kind of hope and social yeah. media, stuff like that. Um, but this was a really good program. Um, and that's about, catch. What does it stand for? Uh, great. See, I told you I'd do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. You so can the look catch it up. program it's, in uh, St. Pete yeah, or is it no, the it's Bay Saint, area? They have St. Pete and Tampa. It's okay. done by, it's an e by the incubator. Um, Tampa Bay Black Business, T T B B I C. Okay. Look that up along T -B -B with the cat. T B B I C yes. um, uh, catch I, program. Yeah, I don't know the acronym. It okay. is an acronym. Okay, but, no uh, worries. Yeah, but T B B catch program. Um, if you're a black business owner, please definitely check them out. Um, yep. what is it? Is there um, a price to get into it, or you just um, well, come in? Well, you kind of you you uh, you apply. Okay, and so and then they they select you. Okay. So a lot of the things. Um, that, that we were doing our business, we were doing very correct, mm -hmm. um, which is good. But mm -hmm. then what I really learned is is all the additional things that would help us really possibly mm -hmm. compete. And that's another thing about business too. Like you're 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 putting in work for the possibility. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it's like anybody who's trying to go pro in a sport. Yeah. They're putting in the work for the possibility. Yeah. And that's really to me what I love about catch is they're they are giving you the right tools. Mm -hmm so that the possibility is greater, mm -hmm. you know? So that's what I like about it. And um, on the other side, I'm, I'm just joined the board of uh, the St. Pete Business League. Okay. So uh, you can kind of look that up in St. Pete. And I got to give this shout out to uh, St. Pete Business League. And on September 18th, mm -hmm. I can go ahead and plug go this ahead. right go now. Go plug, right, we're plug, plugging plug, plug, plug. It. All right, from six to eight, I'm actually doing a business um, seminar that relates to photographers. Mm -hmm. So so how do you make money? How do you price? what your equipment look like, all these different things, okay. because people have those questions. And, and I'm a photographer 100%, mm -hmm. um, and I do container gardening. Mm -hmm. Yay. Um, but um, but 100%, like everything. Like mm -hmm. if I'm buying tires, it's mm -hmm. because I had, you know, I, I do photography. Okay. It's, there's nothing else you're in there. Running, yeah. You're running your car down. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've done that. Yeah, I don't, I don't run my car down. No, I can't, I can't get stuck on a bridge. But... <laughs> But uh, Which one? but you got three I know Florida, any or one of Tampa them. Bay that but yeah, stuck. with the St. Pete Business League. But you can you can follow me if you follow me on on Instagram. Uh, you can just uh, hit me up straight up and ask me about it. But mm -hmm. uh, I think it's like a ten dollar fee to come okay. in there, 
And really, it's in 20-minute segments, and I'll talk for like 10, and then you can ask me questions. And that's September what? That's September 18th from 6 to 8. PM. That's a Wednesday. Okay. Yes. 6 to so 8 p.m. It's the best time I can do it because St. Pete, uh, I'm not St. Pete, but uh, September is really busy is it? when it comes to schools. Okay. Yeah, so we're, we're busy, busy, busy. Okay, school starts up north in September for us. Down Ooh. here, you guys started in August yeah, for we, the most part. Yeah, yeah. yeah we started days the Labor Day. We, we get some time. Hillsboro started Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. So, um, so I'm, I'm involved in those things and, and really I don't get too involved in, in a lot of things because I am still growing my business mm-hmm. and, and my kids are young, mm-hmm. you know, so I try to pick and choose, um, places where I can be directly involved. Mm-hmm. So I don't just like to be a member of something yeah. and kind of sit in the crowd. If I'm going to be involved, I'm going to be involved Yeah. and then I can have my time. For okay. That. So St. Pete business league and what's the yeah. other one? And uh, uh, no, the t- uh, TB. TBBIC, TBBIC, yeah, the catch um, program. yeah, and the cat is related to the catch program. Okay, there, so. and what else are you doing in Tampa, St. Pete? Uh, in terms of what, like, I just nah, know. like, cause those those two entities are definitely um towards geared towards black businesses. Yes, and um that's been running for a while now. I'm guessing. Yes, and there's a great number of black businesses, you know, within both cities or the Tampa Bay area. Yes. Most people have never really heard of. So what are they doing um, to get themselves out there? Because I've never heard of them and that might just be my ignorance from coming from a different area. Yeah. Um, but what are they doing that, you know, to well, get themselves out there? Well, they're doing a lot of social media mm-hmm. and, um, you know, the, the people that run it again, um, you know, St. Pete's small, mm-hmm. but large and everybody kind of knows everybody. Mm-hmm. So, if you kind of, you know, meet one person, it'll kind of flow around yeah. information and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. uh, you know, that type of stuff. So, uh, for me, I, I had applied a couple of times and mm-hmm. then I, I finally got in, I was willing to drive all the way to Clearwater. I was willing to drive to Tampa uh, and stuff like that. Okay. But then they finally had one in, uh, in St. Pete okay. that, that I could get. And I got okay. it. All right. Um, cool. but yeah. Um, but what other issues, um, are there any society, societal issues that you see, um, that are hindering us from being business owners that you could think of? Yeah. History. Okay. Yeah. Just, this is bottom line. It's, okay. it's, it's history. Again, we, we, listen, we're, we're pioneers in a world that's already built up. Mm. So, you know, we're, we got to clear land mm. and then other people, the land's already cleared. Yeah. So, and, and that's a lot of that is not by our own choice, mm-hmm. but we do have to keep working to clear the land. OK. You know, um, we do have to keep working. And I think that's really even with the young people trying to be entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. I think they're just trying to say, well, this is part of my work. Yeah. Um, what I think other business owners who are successful have to say is like, come on, I'll take you under my wing. Yeah. That's that's really what I've decided to do, because I do know a lot of we say black photographers mm-hmm. um, that really they they want you to be already experts yeah. and you're young and it's or or show them some sort of odd respect yeah. that you know that's just disingenuous yeah. so like I, I try not to come off that way and i always you know help um any photographer yeah. like people just hit me up and ask which camera I'm like oh i'm standing in target and i'm like you're right like right now literally yeah. you know uh yeah you know and, and i've taught classes too yeah who come behind you because they are looking yeah. to us right yeah. Yeah. so now um what i have seen i those people who feel that they could reach out to you. The yeah. fact that you reached out to me with those questions, I was like, is this trick questions? Or like, this is, this is real because yeah. I was like, number one, you are older than me, but yeah. it's like, I feel like I should ask you questions too. But it was so, uh, refreshing, I guess, yeah. to have that come at me. I was talking to a friend of mine. He's like, no, that means that they respect you enough to ask you a question. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and, and, and at that point in time, like it, I, it, you know, it was a business deal that was almost went sideways. Mm-hmm. Um, and we had done good work. We'd done everything we were supposed to do. And really, it just kind of took me at shock that I didn't get the respect of, yeah. the, of the bigger companies. And so I just had to, I had that moment of, man, I got to reach out, mm-hmm. you know, where um, where I kind of, I didn't question like what we do or mm-hmm. how we do it, mm-hmm. but I just needed to kind of vent, in, you know, in a way that, that removed the possibility yeah. of me questioning. Yeah. Like, because sometimes when it doesn't go your way, you, you try to switch things and we have a good service. Yeah. We really deliver well, mm-hmm. man, we deliver yeah. well. Cause it's like the one thing I hang my hat on. Yeah. I'm getting all these images yeah. done in three hours, yeah. including the drive home yeah. and the stop at Arby's. What's up? <laughs> Arby's. Yeah. Eat. So what is the, what's the logo for Star? Well, the slogan, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there no um, but no, but yeah, so. a lot of things people don't understand. Um, but you have, 
I feel like the good nature of what your parents really try to instill in you to do not just good business, but to be a good person to other people that they can approach you, you know, yeah. and to have a discussion like, what do you think about this? Oh, what kind of camera should I buy? Yeah. You know, um, and that's something I think all of us need to kind of just that's the humility part, not the money, like being humble about money, but being humble about being good to people. Yeah, I, and but I, I do love the money. You want that check. You want that check. You want that check. It's such it's you such a it's such a good thing. It's a, it's empowering because I get to do a lot of stuff. You know, that's that's the great thing. Yeah, it's like you know running your own business. If you can get it to where it works for you, and I, yeah. but I think a lot of people, um, young, try to create a business that works for somebody else, or imitating exactly the same. Uh, l- Thing that somebody else did like i know so, so many people who want to be super sent you might not know who she is but she's on instagram she's our generation okay <laughs> but she did an incredible thing she has a makeup uh line um but she's doing other things you know they want to be like bb judy bb judy was over here helping people get their edges back apparently and everybody wants to imitate them stop imitating people they're giving you tips on how to be a good business owner yes. and be a good person yeah. but you don't have to you cannot mimic somebody's yeah. uh story you can be in the same field yes. i think you know and and i think that that's good yeah. because what i'm doing is is just out there like yeah. i said i i've had to reach out and i'm trying to find mm-hmm. another black photographer and if anybody knows anybody Drop that it. actually does large-scale graduation large scale graduation yes. i know some photographers in the area I'm going to not, ask not small yeah but large scale, scale 400 plus people yeah and delivers okay. like that's really what I'm looking for okay. because you know I'd like to talk to that person because right now I'm just kind of out there by myself. Yeah. I mean, we get the job done, yeah. don't we? I mean, yeah. we don't play but about you, it. You wanna... But I'd, I'd like to you know kind of talk to a peer about yeah. that and so on and so forth. But a lot of people do sports yeah. and that I've run into and, and don't really do it that way, so on and so forth. But you know I just am trying not to be that. But being your own person, yeah. that, that's that's tough. Yeah. I think it's great when those people become something, mm-hmm. but nah. when they you know. Okay. So uh, we have come to the end of the show. Oh, that's too bad. That was a quick we're, hour. We're, it was a quick hour, but you're going to come back. But this is Firefly awesome. um, Event Photography, yes. Pierce Brunson. You can find Firefly on all social media. Yes. Um, 727-599-6153, fireflyeventphotography.com. Um, this is a beautiful shout out to all business owners. This is August. This is Black Business Month. So we are really featuring a lot of excellent businesses who are trying to, you know, Bring us all along. Clear the field. Yeah, <laughs> Clear I know. Field. We're all pioneers here. But yeah, yeah. Um, this is Balaji. This is Goddess Talk. Um, we'll be back next week. We have a great show next week. We have a great educator, an advocate for education within oh. the Tampa Bay area. Okay. She's really good. And I was very excited. She said she would come next week. Oh, yeah. So um, yeah, check education. us out next week, 7 p.m. on In Touch News. All right.